Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only World Improv Network Comedy Show on Mile High Sports Radio. Take part in the show by giving your suggestions or questions to the cast for each show segment throughout the week or live during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling in to Mile High Sports Radio Studio Line. Now, enjoy the show. <laughs> It's local. It's global. You're listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith. Breaking news into the Win World Local News sports desk from Win Sports reporter Fired Up Frank, who's live in Beverly Hills, California, at the International Celebrity Botox Injection Championships. Fire up. Who's in the finals, and how's the competition tightening up? Oh, Potter, it, uh, you know, I'm really, I can't tell based on the faces of the contestants who's winning. They all seem very robotic and similar, but from what I can tell from the spectators around me, Sharonda from Beverly Hills has taken an early lead with a very stiff face. And I'm actually, I have her husband here with me, uh, Dr. Clarence. Now, Dr. Clarence, uh, how, how, are you proud of what your wife's doing tonight? Uh, absolutely. This is a phenomenal uh, test of the human anatomy, and I think she's pushing her body to the absolute limit, and she's doing a remarkable job oh, of oh, it, yeah, too. Do Dr. Clarence, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it looks like we have K-1 from Eastern Beverly Hills is coming on strong here in the home stretch. Her face is getting really tight. Potter, the crowd is starting to go nuts. They're they're staring at each other, and it's you. Oh my goodness, Potter, she's taking it yeah! back to you. Wow, Botox can make it that exciting. All right, well, her next major story comes to us from wind contributor Elias of Denver, Colorado. U.S. presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Amway president Doug DeVos and the late great Michael Jackson all said that 25 cents can change the world. What did these distinguished leaders of politics, business, and pop culture mean by such a small yet poignant phrase, 25 cents can change the world? Well, this enigma of language and verse has just been cracked by our very own wind philosopher and astrology expert, Nostra Dumbass who's live, unearthing the secret details deep in the hole below the Scientology headquarters known as Gold Base in Riverside Cal County, California. And Nostra Dumbass? Uh, yes, I've cracked the philosophical conundrum that is 25 cents. For 25 cents is a quarter, and a quarter is one-fourth of a hole, and a hole is something that you put a ball in, and when that ball goes into the hole, it either hits the bottom or it falls through, and when it falls through, it falls through space, and space goes on and on, and so when we consider the space that surrounds us and penetrates us and sometimes hugs us. That 25 cent, that space, it becomes, uh, like, well, it, you know, this is kind of the part where I get confused myself. I'm kind of working it out on paper, but, uh, basically, uh, you know, there's this thing, uh, uh, What are just, you doing down there? Oh! What brings you into the secret land uh, of Scientology? I'm sorry, I was just, uh... I just enjoy the harmonics, the acoustics in here. I was just finding some quiet space. We are entrancing ourselves to get our thinking levels lower. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, it appears, Potter, that there are vampires here. Uh, this vampire, you claim to be a Scientologist? Yes. 25 cents worth of... Scientology! Are you- you're selling this, or- 
Hey, uh, 25 cents. If everybody chipped in 25 cents, then you'd have a hole, and then you'd have a whole lot of holes. Okay, back to you, Father. Wow, that was the most concise explanation of that wonderful phrase, 25 cents can change the world. Well, moving on to our next breaking story, brought to us by wind contributor Hayden of Tallahassee, Florida. For the first time in history, the Powerball Lottery has seen fellow family members win the elusive drawing. Brothers James and Bob broke through winning numbers from the $291 million jackpot. James won all $291 million with his numbers, while Brother Bob won $7. To hear what the most lucky siblings are up to with all their winnings, let's go live to win gambling reporter Bugsy Siegel, who is in Las Vegas, Nevada, celebrating with the winning brothers. Bugsy! Ah, oh, yeah, see? I'm here with the newfound riches here in Las Vegas. You guys are just partying up. This is, uh, 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 James and Bob, you guys are, if you don't mind, can I call you Jim and Robert? Thank you. You guys, are, you, uh, you guys look like you're just having a grand old time. You got yard high drinks. You got, uh, uh, Jim, I can see you've got uh, a lot more uh, accolades and sashes and fancy clothes going on here than you, brother Bob. Yeah, I, uh, so the first thing I did with my money was, uh, I went to a bunch of different websites and I got, I'm, now I'm a, I'm a priest, I, I'm a minister, and I'm a, a doctor of astronomics. Wow, and so you really wanted to expand your personal, uh, uh, fortunes and, uh, desires. I, 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 uh, it's like they're, like, really fancy, uh, name tags, and so now I bring them around with me wherever I go. <laughs> hey, hey, Bob, uh, you're just here, uh, wearing a, uh, like a white t-shirt. Very, very plain compared to your bro. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. My brother, he, he won $291 million, but I won $7! $7! And I'm so, so excited, as you can tell by all the ladies around us, they're excited for my $7, <laughs> oh, so now am I to understand that you haven't spent the seven dollars yet? No, no, seven dollars? You can't spend that just in one place. Oh, well, what are you planning to do with this seven dollars? Oh, I'm thinking about getting some Taco Bell and then maybe some Mambas. Oh, well that sounds like a, you know, a nice evening lunch, a nice fourth meal. Now, uh, uh Jim, I imagine you must have bigger plans, she? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy a rocket ship, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to Pluto, and then I'm gonna make it a planet again. It's gonna be my planet. Ah, uh, see, now I don't I don't think that's actually possible. See, you need training. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my money to make to, to make it possible. Hey, just don't <laughs> stomp on my dreams, okay? Ah, if there's anything I know about America, it's money makes everything possible. Back to you, Potter. <laughs> well, those guys are just having a great time. Well, now for something a little bit more important and check in with the global weather. Let's say I had a Tulip Sunspring, who is 14,000 feet below the sea, off the coast of Hawaii, hanging out with a newly discovered albino octopod nicknamed Casper. How's the weather looking like, Tulip, and what you doing with Casper the octopod? Um, at this step, I would say it is overcast. Uh, there is a lot of water above us. So not much light, if at all, is making its way through this dense body of water that we call the Great Blue Ocean. Um, and it's true, I am here with Casper. And uh, Casper, um, you are a marvel of modern biology. And uh, this is kind of your first opportunity to say hello to the world. What do you want to say? Well. I couldn't have said it any better myself, Potter. Back to you. Wow. Again, wonderful reporting on the weather, Tulip. And thank you all for tuning in to Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith, and stay tuned for Community Court next on the World Improv Network. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break for a case that needs to be tackled during community court. Next on Mile High Sports Radio.